Hi, my name is Yuri, and I am about to take on two big challenges. The first being we are getting ready to build our own custom house. And the second is I'm going to try to record as much of this as possible to put out there on YouTube to keep for memories for myself. So maybe look at it 20, 30 years down the road, maybe show the grandkids one day, something along those lines. So I've never done any video recording, video editing. So this will be something new for me, something I've never done. It'll be a bit of a challenge. And as far as construction goes, I, I've had some experience, a little bit here, a little bit there, but I've never, never to this extent of building my own house. Um, so a little bit of a backstory. Uh, got married, had a kid, and we were renting for a while and decided we wanted to buy our own place. So we started shopping around the local market and everything for the asking price seemed just outdated or run down or just needed too much remodeling to make it the way we wanted it. So after talking to a few friends and relatives, we were convinced to just build a house. So the search began to find a property that we liked. Um, we looked at numerous lots, didn't really find anything that we liked. And uh, one day my coworker was telling me, hey, there's a lot next to me that's for sale. Go check it out, you might like it. So my wife and we're like, well, let's, let's go take a look. So we came up here and of course fell in love with the view. Can't go wrong with the beautiful Montana scenery. So take a look for yourself, see what you think. We're a little bit on the hillside, so we got great view. Um, we were able to buy this land. It's 4.49 acres. So after coming up here and really liking the property, we went back and forth with the realtors for a week or so and knocked them down on the price. So that's great for us. We were able to get it cheaper than what we wanted it or what they had listed it for however there was no well there was no access onto the property there was power how and even that was just on the northeast corner so we had to bring power up because they don't recommend it being 250 feet away from the transformer you start getting into a voltage loss um, so we knew there was going to be work involved to get the property caught up or up to speed before we could build and uh, that's what we started so after purchasing our property um, it was very clear to us what our first improvement needed to be there was no road access no driveway no way of getting onto the property we'd have to park on the other road and hike up on top or get permission from the neighbor and drive through his lot to get onto ours um, so first, one of the first things I did was rent a bulldozer from a local shop. They delivered it, gave me two minute crash course on how to use it, and said I'll be back in eight hours to pick it up. I had never ran a bulldozer, had no experience in anything quite that large, but it takes a while to get a hang of it, and after that it goes pretty good. So what I did was I'd angle the blade away from the hill and tilt it so there's back slope that way. Um, and then I'd slowly, little by little, push dirt up the hill and throw it off to the side here. And back up and do it again, do it again, do it again, and until it was wide enough and big enough to, to have uh, vehicles driving up and down. It's not the best looking driveway, but it's roughed in and it was enough to get, get us up there on the lot. Didn't have any of the laser leveling, any of that fancy stuff, so it was pretty pretty basic bulldozer but it was enough to get the job done and as you can see it's enough to get the get up onto our lot if we look closer down here locates have been done for the excavation company that's going to be coming in soon to fix the road and start digging for our uh, foundation
second improvement I did to our lot was bring power up. So this is the closest point for power here, the box. This is just the junction box. That's the neighbor's transformer and neighbor's pedestal. And then here's a phone line that runs down the road. So got a hold of the power company. They told me I needed to dig a trench and they were specific as to between uh, 36 and 48 inches deep. Rented my uncle's uh, backhoe. It's a little bit steep to run a backhoe on, but we were care careful we were able to get it done. I started digging and then I had to a, had a run away for a little bit, so my brother actually took over and finished most of it up. Then uh, after paying for all the services and everything, the power company came out. Um, Put in 200, roughly 225 feet of uh, of line, and they put in a transformer and a 200 amp pedestal. Now, while the trench was open, I got the phone company to come in and um, put down some uh, communication lines so I could have internet later on. Our third and most recent improvement is the well casing. There was no well on the property, so we had to get well pounded in. Never gone through that before, never seen how they drill. I was up here quite often watching them drill. It's uh, pretty stressful. You never know how deep you have to go or if you'll even hit water. Some of the neighbors at the beginning of our street that are down in the valley are on their second or third wells. And uh, we were fortunate enough to, to get 30 gallons a minute. However, we did have to go 220 feet deep. So looks like the excavation guy was here today dropping off some equipment. Uh, here's their bulldozer that they'll be using for roughing in the road, making it smoother, make it look better. And they will also do some work with this for digging out the daylight walkout basement. So hopefully sometime real soon they will get some more equipment up here and get to digging us a hole.